Hello, I'm Francesca, actress, singer, dancer, who loves to travel. As you can see from my pictures, when I'm on my travels, I enjoy trying the local cuisine, wine and beer. A shot of local schnapps also helps when you've overindulged slightly. I enjoy visiting places with lots of history, but I also enjoy exploring the great outdoors and I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. So please subscribe to my channel and follow me on my adventures. Let's have some fun together. See you soon. Good morning everyone. Um, sorry this video is coming to you a little bit later than I wanted it to. You know how it is, you get back from time away and then you have to, you know, do all the washing and get back into normal life. But anyway, I'm here now and um, today is actually the first day that I am going back to the gym. I've been doing at-home workouts to try and like break myself in because I've not actually been to the gym since we went to the little gym in Salzburg quite a few weeks ago now. But um, so I'm going to do that. And I just thought I'd show you like my usual pre-gym um, routine. And then we're going to I'm going to talk to you later about what I'm thinking for this channel now that I'm not away seeing exciting things every single day. But um, I'll talk to you more about that later. So the first thing I do is I always make sure I have a really nice breakfast. Um, I quite often have things like porridge with almond butter and apples and maybe a bit of protein powder. But I bought these in um, Germany and Austria, so I'm just using those up first. And this is still a high protein muesli and it's really tasty actually. And I normally use almond milk but unfortunately we ran out. Well, I used it all yesterday and I forgot to pick up some more. So we've got semi-skimmed milk today. And then these are my little probiotics. And I take those because they're really good for your guts and all that fun stuff. Now, this is one machine I really missed when we were away. <laughs> So before I go to the gym, I have this, which is um, it's like a pre well, it is a pre workout. It's not like a pre workout, and um, it's got quite a bit of caffeine in it, so it just gives you like that extra buzz to get through your workout. And um, I always use PhD Nutrition because their products taste really good. I mean, this one's quite sour because obviously it's sherbet lemon, but um, the protein's really nice. Mm. So I didn't get back to you later that afternoon because unfortunately from that afternoon until Sunday afternoon I was feeling quite unwell so I uh, funnily enough didn't want to come on camera and be like eh, hi guys eh, eh. Um, but it wasn't Covid so it's all good and <laughs> um, so what I want to talk about with this channel is so I'm thinking I want to release like two videos a week and one video is going to be a recording of me singing and playing guitar so full songs or well, one full song a week um, I'm going to film that and I'll use microphone and I'll set up so it'll be all like a nice little intimate kind of um, open mic sort of vibe that's what I'm 
going for. And then the second video, I plan to go somewhere of interest in the surrounding area of where I live. And today, I'm actually going to go to a little town called Aundor, which is, honestly, it's so cute. It's like a, I mean, it's a quintessential English little town. So I'm hoping you're going to enjoy that. Um, if you think this is a good idea, if you could let me know in the comments below, that's great. If you're not so sure, just keep watching the videos and then maybe you'll find you'll like it. It's a little bit grey and quite windy today, but it's a very cute drive to Aldor through Upper and Lower Benefield. And um, I, I believe it's Lower Benefield, but it could be Upper Benefield, where Cameron McIntosh, who's the big music, uh, musical theatre producer, um, so he produces, you know, Les Mis and um, Hamilton and Phantom and everything, um, he actually lives in these villages, or one of these villages, so I always think, why can't we just bump into each other here and then he'll be like, oh my goodness, I need to cast you as Ephanine and Les Mis and then, you know, then I'd be fulfilling, your dream. fulfilling my, my dream. But alas, that has never happened. Maybe one day. Look how cute these cottages are. That's a me sized house. Nice house. House. So this is Lower Benefield. Cameron Macintosh, where are you? Come on, come on, wherever you are. So here we are in the market square, or on the market square, should I say? Of uh, Aundel. Lots of little shops, pet shop, sports centre. That's a nice sports centre. It actually belongs to Aundel School. It says it's open to all though. Nice little coffee tavern, pharmacy. I wonder if the stone here is the Collie Weston stone, uh, which is a local stone. Could be. Quarry. There's a quarry not far, not far from here. And the bus stop. So this building belongs to the school as well, but I'm going to assume it's something to do with the teachers because no pupil access. Bit fancy, isn't it? This is the Talbot Hotel, and in here are the stairs from Fotheringhay Castle, which is where Mary Queen of Scots was beheaded. It's actually only a little. It's Fotheringhay is only about a ten-minute drive from here, but obviously the castle is not there. It's now just a mound. But we're going to go in. So as I mentioned, um, they bought the stairs from Fotheringhay. To this pub uh, hotel, pub slash hotel, and they say that Mary Queen of Scots walks up and down these stairs, or at least her ghost does, because you know she would be a ghost if she was here. <laughs> and here we have a painting of her walking down the stairs. But not that. Stairs. Not that. Not that staircase. But it is a painting, so it's probably... And I think these are actually more outside steps than interior steps. But it is a painting, so... And they're, yes, they are allowed they are artistic, artistic license. Her walking to her death, poor woman.
So here we have our uh, traditional English afternoon tea. Starting with sandwiches, we've got salmon, ham and whole grain mustard, cheese and pickle, egg, and then we've got our scones with clotted cream and jam. And then we have some petit foie. So we've got some macaroons and some little chocolate brownie I would do thing the possibly. Smaller than what they normally give because they normally only do pre booked teas, so Yummy yummy. Mm. We have two we have our scones and they're prepared two different ways. Um, there is a dispute in England about whether you do it the Devon way or the Cornish way. The Devon way is like this, so you put the cream on and then the jam. And then the Cornish way is you put the jam on and then the cream. But they're Scottish, they're not Devon. They originate from Scotland. Scones do. <coughs> so how do you prepare your scone? Do you do it the Devon way or the Cornish way? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. This is Arundel School, or this is one of the buildings of Arundel School. So I read in the Talbot Hotel that there actually used to be a monastery on the site here. And the Talbot Hotel was Ah yes, so sorry, it would have been here. And the monks opened the Talbot Hotel at that time. They, it was called the Tabrad. Um for pilgrim pilgrims and the like to have um, like a place to sleep, somewhere to eat and drink. So that was nice of the monks, wasn't it? Oh, and the stones, the facade. Yes, the facade, the outer facade of the hotel is built from the stones of uh, Fothering Hay Castle. So basically it's Fothering Hay Castle. Really? We'll go there one day because it's just a mound there. But it's nice to go in the spring there. And climb up the, the hill. Here are all the school buildings from a different angle. It's a very nice school to go to, I imagine. I feel a bit like I was in Harry Potter. And here we are in the um, church. So St. Peter's Graveyard, you all know I like a good graveyard. So here is St. Peter's Church. Very stereotypical British church. door for Frankie to love. <gasps> Look at the key. Oh. Imagine the key for that. Oh my goodness, how exciting. So this is the Crips Library which also belongs to the school. Yes, this is the back of the school buildings. Very fancy. I imagine the fees are a pretty penny. So these are the 267 boys and masters of Aundel School and Laxton Grammar School who died during the First World War. This man here, or boy, Talbot Stevenson, he died in Eeps on the 14th of November 1917. Now Eeps is in um, Belgium. It's 
an amazing place to visit. Lots of World War I information to be learned there. Oh, so the Colt Cemetery is near Eeps as well. So he's there. I actually went there a couple of years ago. Passchendaele's around there as well. It's so sad. So many young people. And that's just from, that went to this school. time we were here, um, it was Christmas time actually, and it was it was so Christmassy wasn't it Simon? Because they had, it was so Christmassy, so where they have the um, bunting at the moment, there was Christmas lights, and they weren't tacky horrible Christmas lights, they were really just sweet Christmas lights, and it was, it was just so cute. And it really felt so Christmassy. This is their little memorial. Their war memorial. And the old post office. Although the old post office is now a tattoo and piercing place. <laughs> and then that's the Talbot Hotel that we were just in. Now this is the other end of the market square. So we were just over there when I showed you initially. And here's the other side. Maybe I'll bring you back at Christmas time just to show you how Christmassy it is at Christmas time. This is a really cute little pub. Again, very traditional English looking pub. Um, although, I must say, it's a shame about the signs. They're not quite a. not exactly what you want outside a really cute pub. And now to finish off this video. There it's live! <laughs> Now to finish off the video, I've got a few little snippets from the journey back from Germany that I didn't put in any of the videos that I've already uploaded. So, here's a little throwback to Germany. So everyone, we are now leaving Cologne. And well, actually, we're going into Cologne Centre first. Well, actually, we're going into Cologne Centre because I couldn't get any Birkenstocks yesterday and I wanted to buy another pair of shoes and when I went back to the shop, they didn't have them, but maybe I should have asked because apparently they do have them, so I've reserved them. So we're going to go pick those up quickly and then we'll be heading off to Calais, to the Euro Tunnel. And thank goodness we've got time to do it. Yes, thank goodness, because, because we put we put it on the sat nav to, um, to Calais, and the sat nav to, to currently half eleven, and the sat nav told us we'd get there at half eight this evening. Um, so we're like, oh my god, what's going on in Calais? Um, what what's going on on the way to Calais? Because how on earth is it going to take nine hours to get there? We're going to miss our blooming uh, crossing. Um, but then we realised. We had the sat nav to avoid motorways from our trip on from Sunday, our trip day when the motorways when the motorways were really bad on Sunday. We had the route from Cochum to here, avoiding motorways. But so that's why it took nine hours. So guys, don't avoid motorways when you want to get somewhere because <laughs> it takes a long time. We nearly had a heart attack. Because our crossings at 8.50. Yes, our crossings at 8.50. So if that hadn't, um, if that had been true, we'd have been a little 
little bit uh, late and not been allowed. Ah, but it's all right. It's okay. We are we are not going to be late. Hopefully, don't don't feet. Touch wood. Touch wood. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. So everyone, I got my boots, and they're by the brand Tamaris that I mentioned when we were first in Cologne. Um, they're Italian shoes, so they're really narrow, which is really good for people with skinny feet like me. But anyway, so we went into the shop to get them. And then the guy at the checkout, like, if you buy something really cheap, um, even if it's like a chocolate bar or something, um, you then get a 20% discount voucher. So do you want to do? Do you want to buy something little, and then you get the 20% discount? So I bought a bar of soap for 1.99, and then I got 20% off my shoes. So thanks to the guy in the Kaufhof in Cologne City Centre. He. The shoes are probably. Uh, yeah, in the well, on the first floor, on the ground floor. Okay. He is a gem, an absolute gem, and uh, that's very good customer service. I like it. Although we're in Brussels, that won't help you So it's been lovely weather, but now we've left Germany. The sky is crying, and the wind is howling. <sighs> Yes, the wind is bad, so the fuel consumption is bad. But we're making sure we have a fuel, a fuel, I can't, a full tank of diesel before we get back to England. Yep. To the mayhem of no petrol, no diesel, and my car is my car at home has like five miles in the tank so I'm gonna have to put petrol in and I'm just I'm dreading how much it's gonna cost me 500 million pounds yeah that's if I can get it <sighs> sad times then I should be saving my fuel it should last me about six weeks six weeks it did it last time nice <sighs> And our final meal of the holiday. Of the same meal we had. It's the same as what we had as the first meal. Sad times. But it's tasty. Mayonnaise. Mm. That's now everything from the holiday uploaded and on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed that. Watching that made me a little bit sad, actually. But it's okay, because we will be on holiday again in eight weeks tomorrow. Woo! So this is something that we had booked. Yeah, this is, this is something we booked pre-COVID and, you know, we've, we had to everything's from last been delayed. So, so we had... The hotel was booked, or the, the Euro Tunnel crossing was actually booked for Simon's birthday last year, so April of last year. Obviously, COVID happened. And then um, COVID happened, so we couldn't go. So then we put, moved it to the summer, and we couldn't go in the summer. And then we moved it to Christmas, and we couldn't go at Christmas. <laughs> and then we moved it to the summer, and we couldn't go this summer. And then we had to move it to Christmas of this, well, this coming Christmas. So, fingers, so crossed. fingers crossed we are going to be able to go. Because, I mean, there is talk about, you know, more um, restrictions coming in, which is mildly depressing. But, you know, save lives and all that. Um, look at me getting my Boris Johnson on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you for my song, my singing video, and I will see you soon. Bye!